Most businesses use cost codes in their accounting to sort and report costs. Think about your personal budget. You track how much you spend on rent, utilities, groceries. In other words, you break out your expenses to best track them. Now, Estimator comes with two different cost code files for examples. In this case, there's the National Association of Home Builders cost codes, as well as CSI cost codes. But the idea is that you can make your own cost code structure. Now, you'll find these files in a folder inside your plugins folder inside of SketchUp. In this case, it's under the Estimator and DB folder. Now, best practice is to copy these files and save them into a folder on your computer outside of the plugins folder, protect them from future releases. But let's take a look at this cost code structure. Now, it's set up to where you can go as much as four tiers. You've got your division code, division description, major code, major description, minor, etc. Now, before your head spins, really the most important thing is to realize it's just the first two columns are the most important. That's how the estimator is going to be reporting uh, in its reports. If you're a landscaper, you may have uh, division code one is plants, two is trees whatever. It does not have to be complicated. It's just a way of sorting your costs. Many businesses have proprietary cost codes. This is one I've been using in my business for the last 30 years. So I simply edited the CSV file to match my codes. Once you've set up your cost codes for your business, most likely nothing's going to change there. That's why it's a separate CSV file inside of Estimator. Next, we're going to be talking about the items database CSV file. Oh,